have uh, been searching for a, obviously a solution for my problem, or my, my condition for many years. Uh, unfortunately, there's no cure or not even a, really a, a medication for PPMS. Um, I speak to every neurologist that I meet, and I've met many, many in Canada, and um, they will tell you things like, well, it's not going to cure it, but it may slow the decline. That's it. And that's not a good answer for me. So we got on the internet and we typed in stem cell treatment, Serbia. And Swiss Medica came up. So stem cells take time, but you know if you, yeah, if you give them the opportunity, they'll, you know, and your body will respond to it. And my advice to people is don't give up, and uh, don't discount the stem cells, because nobody knows the answer to the question how you're feeling. Only you do. Would you please tell us where you come from and which diagnosis brought you to Swiss Medica? The diagnosis that brought me here. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm from. Canada from British Columbia, and uh, I have had uh, PPMS, primary progressive MS, since uh, I was diagnosed in 2011, mm -hmm. so quite some time ago. Um, so I have uh, been searching for a, obviously a solution for my problem or my, my condition for many years. Uh, unfortunately, there's no cure or not even a, really a medication for PPMS. Certain MSs have it, have something, but none of them provide any kind of a cure. So I, myself and my wife, we investigated everything. We've been all over the place. Uh, so Atlanta, Georgia, we've been to California. Uh, we've been to all kinds of different uh, medical treatments. Um, in 2014, I went actually for stem cells treatment in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, but it was adipose, so my own stem cells, um, uh, fat tissue, fat cells, uh, but not as many as, as pro are provided here by Swiss Medica. So anyway, they seemed to help for a while, and I seemed to be getting a little bit better, um, but of late, things sort of began to sort of decline a bit more, so I uh, began to look at stem cells again. Unfortunately, they're not offered in Canada for, for MS. So we looked at different countries living out in the West Coast. We thought maybe California again, but they're not available. Uh, then looked at Mex uh, Mexico was mm -hmm. a good spot. Mm -hmm. Or Panama was another one that we yep. looked at. Um, but something really in their treatments that were being offered by those clinics wasn't very comprehensive. It was very s s quick. In and out, you get a, you get the stem cell extraction, or you receive um, um, donor cells, um, and then you're in and out like within a day. So, do you mean that they they don't offer you accommodation while you're no, you recovering your from this? Nope. No. Nope. No, in and out. Okay. So yeah, that was kind of disappointing. Uh, so anyway, we. Uh, we been speak with my wife's sister who lives in Ireland and she was receiving stem cell treatment for arthritis and uh, she asked her doctor do you do some stem cell treatment for MS they said no no but there is we heard of somebody in Serbia oh Serbia really so we got on the internet and we typed in stem cell treatment Serbia and Swiss Medica came up so it's Swiss Medica. Well, I like the name Swiss. The Swiss are pretty good at stuff. So we began to investigate that, and we and I was reading everything I could get my hands on, uh, and uh, and learned that the protocol includes multiple days and all kinds of different stem cells, which was fantastic. So that was and the the physiotherapy was very very interesting to us. So. Um, yeah, we contacted uh, Swiss Medica, and uh, after some conversations, we said, yeah, let's do it. So we booked the flight, and here we are. Um, when you were diagnosed, first of all, can you please tell us what kind of emotions you're going through um, when you realized for the first time that you've got MS? And ever since, in which way MS has been interfering into your everyday routine? Oh boy, that's a big question. Big. Uh, it was um, a shock. 
because I didn't even know what MS stood for. Um, I had heard about it on television. There was a walk for MS, there was a run for MS. But what's MS? Uh, so when I was diagnosed, the, the neurologist told me that I had it, and I had the worst kind. And so he told me that there's nothing for it that he can do other than give me drugs and uh, that I should uh, probably get a, a scooter. And if I didn't want to go on vacation, I should probably just get a cruise because I won't be able to walk. So that was stunning to me, uh, very shocking. Cruise is actually not the worst uh, kind of vacation. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So, and it's good for, yeah. for the scooters, I know. <laughs> so, so uh, and, I had, and I was out of work. They took me, mm -hmm. they, I couldn't go back to work. So I had to go on long-term disability. So that was a real shock. I was in the middle of my career and very busy. I travel. My job took me across all of Canada. So I would fly to different cities and my job was, was uh, in, you know, required a, a very demanding and lots of, lots of uh, walking. Um, anyway, uh, so couldn't do that any longer. So that was a shock to the system. It took a long time for me to get over that. Um, could have got depressed about it, but I'm not that kind of person. Uh, so I just uh, wouldn't receive that diagnosis from the doctor. I didn't like what he had to say to me. And so I said, oh, no, I don't receive that. And so that's why we started on our, the journey that we did. And so that it's led us to all kinds of different things um, that we've looked at. And um, yeah, eventually here. So, um Let's say it's been how many? Fourteen years 14 ever since years. you've been diagnosed. Yeah. Like, um, do you drive a car? I do. Like, I drive a yeah, car. Like, like what kind? A part of losing a job. I mean, the, your the job you, that you loved. Probably you're doing something from home right now or from the uh, office. Yeah, like I, it's I, more I like have a I have a web design business. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I because I I, I grew up with in the IT world, mm -hmm. so it, with computers. So, but I never, I, I was never a programmer. I don't like, it's boring, I find it. <laughs> so, if anyone's a computer uh, programmer, I apologize, but it's not for me. So I, uh, but I did enjoy web design, so I taught myself web design, and I started up a little company, and I, I just do web design f for different small companies. Um, so that just keeps me occupied. For, uh, for, so right now it's just you had to change the job. Okay. The rest of your life is okay. It's just you cannot walk long distances like before, right? I can't walk long distances. Mm -hmm. uh, of late, it's been getting worse, and that's why I'm here. Okay, okay. Yeah, because about my daughter was married about uh, six or seven months ago, and uh, I worked my darndest to get to the point where I could walk her down the aisle. Okay. That was very important to me. So. And then, and then the the, uh, the ceremony was outdoors, so to make it worse, we're walking across grass. So anybody with MS knows that you can't walk on grass because it's a trip. So it was a very slow walk <laughs> down the aisle. But you did it, yeah. I did it, yeah. <laughs> so uh, and then of course the the, the daughter, the father daughter dance, that was very important to me as well. So, mm -hmm. but after that, it started to not that it was after that, but I it started to feel the decline. It was more difficult more difficult, so I, I said to my wife, I said, I think, I think maybe I need to get more stem cells. So this was the deciding factor, that yeah, why a, you decided to come yeah, to the I, second Yeah, why treatment. I decided to pursue it again. And I had not heard of Swiss Medica before at mm -hmm. all. Um, we had been over to Europe because uh, my wife is Irish and my son lives in Vienna. So um, it's not that foreign to us to come over here and we had been on We've been to Italy quite a few times, and, and uh, France and Greece and those kinds of countries. So, but Serbia we'd never been. So Serbia was like, we're Serbia. <laughs> um, does it mean that you haven't had any fear coming to Serbia? As you mentioned, you've traveled a lot. Yeah, no, and I wouldn't say I was uh, fearful of Serbia, but you know, the media paints a different picture. Yes. So of course we heard all about the uh, the Balkans and the conflict, conflict. in the con in the Balkans. So you only hear what you see in the movies. So mm -hmm. like, okay, is it safe? Yeah, but uh, we didn't feel very fearful at all, and we know Serbian people. So in Canada, there's quite a few Serbian yes. 
uh, immigrants and my daughter-in-law who lives in Vienna, she, she works for a hotel and she's the HR manager. And uh, she'll tell you, she said, some of her best employees are Serbians. So she said, they're great people. She said, okay, don't be worried. Okay, so, yeah. So that was, uh, that was not really, a, a, that really wasn't a fearful thing for us. Yeah. Just, I, ho I hope you'll have a chance, or at least your wife will have a chance to, to go to the city and to see herself. I want, I want to, to, feel, to feel, you want it to. Of course, of yeah, course. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe <laughs> then, so, yeah. I will be able to walk as far as she can. Yeah. But yeah, I'll get to go see it. I want to go see the big, the big uh, basilica. The big church. Oh, since Sava Cathedral. Yeah, I want to go see that. That looks yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It, it is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. yeah when yeah. we go to Italy, one of the biggest things that we do is we, all, we go to see all the big churches yeah. because they're, they're beautiful. So. For all these 11 years that you have been dealing with MS, mm -hmm. you have a lot of experience with uh, trying to help yourself. What kind of advice you can give others um, having, the same, having been diagnosed with the same uh, disease? Uh, I would say never take no for an answer. Uh, I would say try to find an alternative to medication if you can, uh, because medications for they do they offer do offer some assistance. I'm not going to say they don't. They didn't work for me. They didn't have any benefit for me, and I know that they don't uh, for MS. Um, I speak to every neurologist that I meet, and I've met many many in Canada, and. Um, they will tell you things like, well, it's not going to cure it, but it may slow the decline. That's it. And that's not a good answer for me. And so my advice to people is don't give up and uh, don't discount stem cells because um, you will also hear from people, not just in Canada, uh, from neurologists, that this is the usual line. Yes, stem cells are the future, but they're not there yet. Now, 10 years ago, I had stem cells in, in California, ago, yeah. uh, and I thought they helped me. I don't think they were as, uh, as many, and they made, I don't think I, had, I received it interthecally, so I just had it intravenously and also injected into me. And when they, when they gave it to me in California, they, they put the needle up my nose. So the stem cells were up my nose. Yeah, so... So that was kind of a, a strange, but they didn't, they didn't know any different. And I think they were trying. So I think 10 years is a long time. And I think they've, there's been great steps on just being, by being here, it's evidence. You can see it. Um, what was really, really cool was to see the physiotherapy department. Wow, we couldn't believe it. We still can't believe it. Like I've never seen such incredible equipment, like all of the, electrical simulation equipment that's there, uh, this air, the Air Force. Uh, which you're going you, to now, I'm yeah? I'm going on just you're today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we, we, right now we are waiting, yeah? In, yeah, yeah. Sitting I, in the queue, <laughs> waiting. I've been in, uh, I've been on it a few times already, so, uh, no, it's been, like, everything that we have, we just wish it was in Canada. It probably is, I just haven't never seen it. Uh, if I go to a, uh, a clinic in Canada for MS, um, pretty basic. It's pretty basic. It's. Uh, I wish they could come here. I'd love. I'd love the neurologists to come with me, and see it for themselves, because I think they'd be excited, because I think they're good people, and but I think they have been told, stem cells are the future, but they're not here yet, and that's I what I, I. think that they are. That's what they're being taught, and that's what we're being told. So for people who not answer your question, I would say don't give up. And don't, don't dismiss stem cells. I think that's, and add physiotherapy to it if you can. After having spent here 10 days, roughly, yeah? Ish, mm -hmm. um, would you recommend this particular clinic? Yeah, I'd like to live people, here. people and why? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd love to live here. I asked the doctor <laughs> the other day, I said, can I rent a room? Because <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I mean, the people are super friendly. Um, Everybody, I mean, I don't speak a word of any other lingu language, I mean, it's embarrassing that I say that, but everybody speaks some English. Everybody. Um, and even the, there was one lady who came to the, to the room about the heating, and uh, she couldn't really tell us what, uh, the, the, what the answer to the question we were mm -hmm. asking her. So she did Google Translate, and then showed us. 
So they try everything to communicate with you, and and that was, uh, yeah, that just made us so much feel much more comfortable. And then we met all of the uh, other patients, and they share their stories with us about where they are because we're all on a journey, and everybody has their own story. And and so they, uh, but when you talk to them, we have something in common. So you know we all come from the same place. We're all looking for the same thing. And uh, we all have the same objective, and it's inspiring. It's inspiring. There's there's a a young man downstairs, uh, Juan Pedro, from Ecuador. I mean, what an inspirational guy. I hope to make a movie about him. I mean, what a great story he has to tell. So, you meet those kinds of people, and that's what is inspiring to be here, and to uh, to participate. And I would love to, when I go back to Canada, I mean, you know we have friends who are over there, who. They're asking, are you going where? They said, we're going to Serbia. Okay, and what are you going to get done there? Um, stem cells. Oh. They said, could, could work for you, you know, um, because we have friends who have other conditions. Um, well, tell me, what about, tell me all about it when you get back. So we'd love to be able to share that with them. We've already been asking everybody, all the doctors, all the other patients, about how do they find their, you know, the stem cell helping with their condition. And they, um, yeah, it's going to be. Thank you so much, Daryl. Yeah. I hope you can go to Canada and break some of those myths about Serbian stem cell therapies. Okay. Oh, I, 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 I hope we'll right. see you again. And I hope your body will give a good response to the stem cell therapy. Yeah. Well, I didn't share that with you guys, but I, I, I was saying it to one of the other patients today. Um, you don't. Nobody knows the answer to the question how you're feeling. Only you do, because there's something inside. It's not. I wish it could be like I do a hundred yard dash. That would be a, such an obvious answer, but when you know that you know that something has changed, you can say, "Yeah, I feel better today." How does that matter? I mean, so they don't. I mean, yeah, so I just feel better, and I know over over the next while it'll get better. It'll increasingly get better. When I went to uh, California with my son, we flew, we flew back to Vancouver from uh, from Los Angeles, and uh, he had to go back to work. So I say two or three, three days later, we arrive in Vancouver. The next morning, I'm in his apartment. He's gone to work. I usually use two canes. Uh, I get up. I felt so good. I drove out to uh, a, park, a particular part of Vancouver. That's a beautiful park like that overlooks the ocean. And I walked to it and then walked back. And I had never done that before. So stem cells take time. But, you know, if you... Yeah, if you give them the opportunity, they'll, you know, and your body will respond to it. So, yeah, so that's where we're home for. <laughs> Thank you so much.